Get down on it. Get down on it. Get down on it. Okay. Hi, I'm Danny, and I'm going to talk a little bit about how I loop. So the first thing I do is think about the chorus of the song. Just quickly get that in my head so that I don't hit the record button and start off way too quick. Mm. Get down on it. So it's about there. So I'm going to start with that opening funky little guitar figure in uh, Cool and the Gang's Get Down On It. So like, uh, that one. Three, four. So we've got that playing, and I'll quickly go into the little strummy rhythm that comes next. So what I've done there is switched from my bridge pickup to my middle to both uh, pickups, middle position, just so there's some tonal variation going on there as well. Uh, now normally I wouldn't be talking in between this, so there'd be one cycle of the uh, four bars or whatever it is, and then another cycle would have the strumming straight over the top, and then you can sing. So what you're going to do? Are uh, you going to get down like the intro of the song? Next part I'll likely put down is the intro bass line. So on track two. Fattens it up. So I've got an octave pedal going there as well. Next part I'm going to put down is an approximation of the keyboard chords that are in the song. So I'll put this on track three. Okay. I'll double that with a little harmony. Triplet. Now I'm going to turn off the other parts just so that you can hear that. So it's a very fat part because, you know, keyboards can play a lot of notes close together. Guitars, we find it hard to do that. Our notes are generally a fourth or fifth apart. So that sounds nice and full and kind of funky. So I'll bring those other two parts back in. So after you've had enough of your intro and you want to get into the verse of the song, we can get rid of that bass line and replace it with the one that we'll be playing during the verse. So then you can sing over that for a while. Get down on it. Then for the verse, I'll probably drop out that intro guitar part because we just want to get some light and shade in the song. Uh, mm. So how you gonna do it if you really don't want to dance by standing on the wall? Get your back up off the wall. How you gonna do it if you really don't want to dance by standing on the wall? Get your back up off. I hear all the people say. So I'll just stop it there, but that's basically what I do. So then you can bring those parts in and out, you can add more, you can play a solo over it. But the important thing is to keep playing something while that loop is going, because it'll just sound monotonous otherwise, even though it's all live playing, except for that kick drum pattern straight out of the boss pedal. But uh, all the parts are live, but the repetition and the same exact volume levels and waveforms will mean that your audience will lose interest fairly quickly unless you play along with it, chuck in some licks, um, keep singing, whatever it might be. That keyboard part. So you can play a little solo over that and it really brings it down.
Oh, I'm just getting carried away now. So what do you want to do? Do you want to get down? 